Hi, so I was just driving back from the hairdressers and sometimes you have those moments, don't you, of um, clarity perhaps. And I was struck by the fact that there's an old saying, we all have 2020 vision with hindsight. I've heard that numerous times. What made today so different? It suddenly struck me that here we are in a moment of enforced pause globally, smack bang in the centre of 2020. What if this is the universe's way of getting us to take the lessons from our past, to find the courage and the strength of skills we need for our future? And it got me thinking, what lessons have I learned from my past that are going to take me into my future? What lessons have you learned? And that got me thinking about some of the boards that I've worked on. And I work with companies around the world and you see people spending fortunes, whether that's time, money, often time and money, on building their vision. What is it they want to achieve in the next five years? What is it they want to achieve in the next 10 years? And the good ones, as well as having worked out what they want as an organisation, will have done the research to say, what is it our clients want? What is it that they're looking for and does that align? But ask yourself, when was the last time you saw one of those boards put the same amount of effort into what do the people need? What skills, what training, what upskilling, what knowledge, what behaviours are going to be needed for my colleagues to enable to deliver the results I want for my customers and for the company? Sadly, in my experience, it rarely happens. Instead, what happens is we build the strategy, we build the vision, we build the market research. And if we're good, we might outsource a people plan to HR. But they're our people. And if we don't understand what it is that they need to thrive, they are not going to achieve it. The reason often visions don't come to fruition is because we haven't put the effort into the most important asset that we've got, our people. What is it that they need to be able to thrive? Because when they thrive, they will be able to achieve our vision and we will all be stronger. So do you have a detailed people plan? Do you know what skills you've got today and what skills you're going to need tomorrow to deliver your vision? And have you got a plan of how to get there? Because your people are your people. We can't outsource them. We can't give them to a HR department, no matter how good they are, because our people come to work for us. And we know there's research that shows that 57% of people who leave an organisation leave their boss. Just think about that. 57% of the people that leave. Think of all the talent that's ever walked out of the organisation. How many of them worked for you? What can you do differently to make sure that your talent stays? That's easy. It comes from you. It comes from working on how do you engage, enthuse and empower your people? How do you get them so bought into you and what you stand for? We've had many years of, of being within brands, but now as we move into new generations of millennials and other generations, they are expecting more from us as leaders. They are expecting us to have social presence, to have a brand, to be the thing that they connect with. And for many of us, we've not had to do that. We've not had to work that through. And we can do it, but we often need help. I help individuals around the world reconnect with their purpose, integrate it with their values and evolve to their potential. And the results speak for themselves. If that's something you'd like to talk about, please do get in touch. And every day think, what am I doing 
to ensure that I am attracting the talent in my organisation to commit to me, the leader, as much as they commit to the company. Have a great day.